So last week, Apple announced a bunch of new iPads, and there's nothing more exciting than new iPads. But this year, the iPads are exciting, but not for the usual reason. First of all, the iPad Pro, the newly released iPad Pro, is said to be the slimmest Apple device ever, even slimmer than an iPod mini, which is actually insane. But obviously, those bring some quality control kind of concerns, because just like the iPhone 6 was quite slim, it was also very prone to snapping and bend gates. And I'm just waiting to see Jerry Rick's everything's durability test on this device and if it's actually going to snap in half. My fingers are crossed that it snaps in half. Then, then the main reason why it's actually extra exciting is because a couple years ago, Apple switched from using regular mobile processors like their A series chips in their iPads to using laptop processors, which is their M series chips. So, like iPads have had the same processor, use the MacBooks, all the power within an iPad. And this year they released a new laptop processor, the M4. And before they could even put it in a MacBook, they put it in the latest iPads. So that means the latest iPad is more powerful than the latest MacBook. Let that sink in. That's crazy. And the way they marketed the new iPads is like to make it look like it's a replacement for a laptop, basically. So you have obviously your Magic Keyboard and your Apple Pencil and everything, and they're bringing a bunch of like MacBook or Mac OS based apps to iPad like Studio Manager. They've been there for years, but they're improving it way more to make it more fluid and everything. So I also let to know if you guys actually consider replacing your MacBook with an iPad. Is it actually feasible? Would anybody actually do that? And just throw the MacBook out of the window and say, I'm an iPad user for every single thing, for work, for school, for every single thing I'm using an iPad. But of course, all that power in an iPad, a lot of people are saying, who cares about the iPads? You're going to put all that power into the iPad just for a kid to use it to watch YouTube scroll through TikTok and play Temple Run or something. Uh, so yeah, all the people are obviously going to like shade the iPad. But I think it's actually interesting if some people are actually consider using the iPad as their main laptops. It just has one less device for it to carry around. Instead of carrying a phone, your laptop and an iPad, you can just carry your phone and your iPad as your work device. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Catch you guys on the next one.